Okay, now that you have found the displacement of your vessel, I'm going to tell you how to calculate the longitudinal center of buoyancy. You'll want to start with the table that you just used for calculating displacement. But this time, we're going to add two more columns. The first column is going to be called x. This is going to be the distance from your reference point to the area of the section. The distance will be in feet. So if you look here, our reference point is going to be at centerline, baseline, and at the bow of the vessel. So for section 0, our x distance is also 0. For section 1, because of our spacing, it will be 1 and a half feet. Since our spacing is equal, the next one will be 3 feet. Four and a half feet, and the last one, station four, is six feet from the bow. Now, we just multiply our area times our Simpsons multiplier times this lever arm, the x value. The units for this will be in cubic feet. Well, 0 times 0 is 0. The next value is 6, 12, 36, and the last value is 12. Now we total these values and get 66 cubic feet. And this is the summation of area times the Simpsons multiplier times x. To calculate LCB, we want to take the summation here, area times Simpson's multiplier times x, our lever arm, and divide it by the total area times its Simpson's multiplier. So in this case, we're going to divide 66 cubic feet by 18 square feet to come up with a longitudinal center buoyancy of 3.66 repeating feet. Now it's important to note where this is from. This is from the bow. Now, let's think about it. If we had a barge shape, our longitudinal center of buoyancy would be in the middle. It would be at three feet. But in this example, our longitudinal center of buoyancy is after the middle. It's at 3.66 feet from the bow. So if we go back and look at our drawing, the bow is rather pointy now. So that means more of the volume is back here aft. So that is why our LCB is 3.66 feet, right about here.